welcome to another episode of Reckless Eating Shorts, aka We Shorts. So, I was out for a run, and uh, I noticed Taco Bell was still open, so when I went back to my home, where I live, and I sleep, I decided to go through and get the new, um, uh, Carolina Reaper. Fries and burrito from Taco Bell. So, like, tons and tons of people have been asking me to do this, so we're gonna do it this way instead of a carbs. Apologies in advance. Uh, wow, that looks very interesting. I was gonna do the fries first. Figured we can just do both, just knock them out. Uh, now I've heard from Death Toll, who actually um, messaged me and asked me if I had done these as well, so thank you Death Toll for giving me the heads up. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Sorry about that. Death Toll, thank you for giving me the heads up there, buddy. Uh, the only thing on here I don't like are the fresh tomatoes, so I'm gonna scooch those. Cause I'm so sorry, but it just, you know what? I like big butts, and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. All right, let's do it. Get a big old bite. Hell yeah. Yeah, look at that. I don't know if it's gonna be any good. Let's find out. Oh god. Uh huh. Oh hell yeah. Oh man, that the flavor on that's so good. It, nothing about this screams good. Carolina Reaper. Nothing. Like it has no association. If somebody gave me this, I would have no fucking clue that it was a Reaper related item. So I mean, you know, that sucks. But this is vintage, tasty Taco Bell. Oh. I love the meat on this thing. Sex! That sauce is great. A little bit of heat, not a lot. I mean, it's just, there's no way you can you can say this is a shitload. Uh, but pretty good. Let's get one more bite at least of the fries. Oh. All right, so the fries, uh, I'm gonna give a very solid five out of five. Matt faces, absolutely delicious. Now, let's try the burrito. It's all the crap that was on the fries. Put in a burrito. Hell yeah. Boom shakalaka. I'm gonna tell you right now, the fries were a better value. They were $4 for that. This was like $3.50. I would get the fries over this. In terms of like, you're gonna get way more out of that bowl than you're gonna get right here. But let's try it out. Boom. I did not get uh, a very good bite on that. Not much in that one. Let's try one more. That did not translate well to the burrito. I didn't like the burrito at all, actually. I think it was the way it was made on this one, but it was a little cold. Uh, the inside ingredients, they didn't, it wasn't as good as just the fries, because with the fries, you had the fries, the cheese, you know, the sauce. On this one, I wasn't really getting everything. I was getting, like, one or two items here. It just was, I guess it just wasn't mixed up very well, which is a disappointment, because uh, I love the fries. I think the fries are delicious. But as far as the burrito's concerned, I'm gonna bump that, I'm gonna bump that way down to a three out of five. Uh, I'm gonna, my minus three on it. I broke my rule for the fries. So I do have a rule that I normally say, if it doesn't, like have anything to do with the product. <laughs> it's a Reaper. I didn't have any heat really, didn't have the flavor of the pepper that I noticed. I also splooged out of my mouth a little bit. But basically like, I, it was so good and I loved the fries so much that I bumped, I kept them up at a five, didn't put it down to four. But I'm sure you were just absolutely needing to know that information. Okay, apparently that doesn't work anymore. I've had that since I was in middle school. And it doesn't work anymore. All right, well, there you go, guys. What do you think of that? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, I to do. We'll see you on the next episode. The Tower of Dago by Moriyokai, Chapter 1. The Tower. As the steamer from Stralsund is approaching the Gulf of Finland, the passenger's attention is attracted by an object which projects high out of the sea. He will hear the seamen yes. call it the Tower of Dago. An old and wealthy Englishman, he may be told, on one occasion felt impelled by curiosity to ask the captain what it would cost him to examine the ruin close at hand. The answer was clothed in language less polite than forcible, Merely the shriveled skin and dried up bones you carry about with you, sir. For hitherto, the Tower of Dago has been spared an appearance in our art galleries only by the circumstance that it cannot well be got before the painter's easel. It is built upon the outermost point of a rocky promontory of the great island of Dago. The projecting headland lies obliquely across the northern current, 
and the sea makes a ceaseless seething whirlpool round the obstruction. The sea bottom all around is strewn with most perilous reefs. Among their intricate labyrinths, even the skiffs of the most adroit boatmen are in danger of being dashed in pieces. And yet, for a sight of the Tower of Dago, one might well risk one's life, especially at a time when the raging storm is clothing it with all its picturesque grandeur. The extreme ledge of the promontory is a great block of reddish-brown rock. It rises precipitously out of the dark green waves, which incessantly storm it with their foam-crested dragon heads. Some spring-tide monster will often lash itself aloft to the very summit, frightening the seagulls and eagles that love to range themselves along the verge of the rock. From this ledge rises a six-sided tower some hundred and fifty feet high. The lower part is built in cyclopean fashion of massive, uncut blocks of rock. The upper portion is of red stones. These reach to the very summit of the tower, the battlements of which are today surmounted by the luxuriant green of juniper shrubs. And when the setting sun, bursting through a cloud, casts his rays upon the dead giant, rising there in his solitude, while round about the low ashen clouds seem almost to touch his head, when the sea roars beneath and breaks in foam against his feet, when the reflected sunlight streams back like the rays of a lighthouse, from some window, the panes of which are happily still unshattered, then the glowing colossus seems a very polyphemus, who with his one eye dares to defy the gods and to wage eternal feud with men. That is the Tower of Dago. What?